Once upon a time, a well-known esports org signed four players who were ultimately destined for greatness. It wasn't FaZe, surprisingly isn't TSM, and although Team Liquid had quite a reputation, it wasn't them either. The org I'm talking about is none other than NRG. Their roster is currently Zayt, Mr. Savage, Benji Fishy, and of course, Simfunny. They all hold top placements and Fortnite career earnings, so that proves they're all phenomenal players. I'm a huge fan of theirs and hold each of them in super high regard, but if I had to pick one of the boys, I think I'd have to go with Benji Fishy. Most players don't take on Arena very seriously, but Benji Fishy does. He's always using the latest builds and tactics. I literally can't stop watching him when he's popping off. In this video, we're going to add our own commentary and analysis to a few of his recent insane games. If you want to make insane plays like this, don't forget to check out Benji Fishy's latest course right here at ProGuys.com. Alright, let's watch and learn how to win like Benji Fishy. Now, in this first clip, Benji is on the far side of the circle with 39 players left. Now, the first thing I notice is that he senses somebody underneath him, and instead of pushing for the circle, he drops down. And it's going to pay off in a second. Now, check this out. What a lucky break he gets. The player behind the stairs probably can't hear Benji with all the commotion. Benji walks by and pop pop! Claims the kill just like that. E11 Boyer learned not to stay underneath Benji. Benji notices the circle is very far off and decides to make a push for it. The good thing about shadow bombs is that they're easy to use and don't require any sort of materials. Side note, free rotations for those that use them. Just think of all the recent items Epic has added, making it much easier for endgame rotations. Benji has no qualms using his jump pad to rotate the circle. Better to be alive and one less jump pad than dead and much less everything. Now he sits around a bit, so let's get to the fun stuff. That is a desperate attempt to claim the kill. He could have gotten lasered from above, but who am I to tell Benji? Sometimes top players make plays that come off as strange to us, but they work. Benji uses yet another jump pad here after being caught in a sticky situation. I probably would have used it and gotten blasted back to the lobby, but he's trying to get as close to the safe zone as he can. I can tell Benji Fishy is really trying to win this game because he's playing very safe. Benji's eyes grow wide as he sees the opportunity for the high ground. After he claims it, he sees another competitor. He's in an awkward angle for high ground and doesn't want to get shot down, so he decides to shadow bomb off the high ground. Side note, shadow bombs grant you full immunity while popped, so keep that in mind. He's waiting for the stars to align to make big plays. Benji gets caught up in a near-death situation, and fortunately, rifts are a thing. Benji, he gets rifted, and that keeps the dream alive. It's fascinating why Benji chooses not to go for the high ground here. If he landed on top, he would have free reign to shoot down. Uncontested high ground is usually what you go for, but Benji doesn't need it. I'll be the first to say it, that's a nice shot. That's the kind of shot that deserves a round of applause. One tip that I definitely recommend is always being on the lookout for easy picks. Many times we get so caught up in trying to win, we miss out on the easy kills. Top players know this, and that is how they score so high. I have no idea why I didn't go for that last shot. It seems Benji didn't want to get into a fight with the player. I have to give it to him though, he could have easily wound up in a tunnel fight, and things could have gotten messy, ruining his rotation and next plan. With 11 players left in such a tightly contested circle, things can get dirty. Benji scouts for additional resources. Sick W key into that guy's box, <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. This is the kind of tunneling required for high level arena. Practice this in creative and you will win a lot more games. Benji makes an aggressive play and ooh, wait, too many people. No BM to Benji. He tried his best here, but sometimes even the best fall victim to unfortunate situations. He was playing such a flawlessly calculated game, but just one wrong move costed it all. But hey, that's why we love Fortnite, right? It's a simple game, but there's so many critical decisions that you have to make to win a high level game. There are three things I want you to take away from Benji's play here. Number one, practice your tunnels, since your pub games aren't going to end like this usually. But tunneling is an extremely effective way to play, and it's in your best interest to learn how to do it. People are getting better and better, and you need to learn it. Number two, play aggressively. Force people to respond to your actions, especially when you have better positioning. Playing too passively can have repercussions. Number three, think ahead. Benji could have easily sprayed the guy out of his baller, but he was thinking of what kind of fight he would get into. In this clip, Benji Fishy's gameplay really caught my eye. He's 17 points deep, so he's popping off against some of the best players in the world. Benji starts off on the far side of the circle with not much rotational items. He makes a push for the circle, but he starts taking fire. Now, what Benji does next is mind-blowing. He shows us exactly what the NRG signed player is capable of. He double edits a cone to find one player sitting right above him. No hesitation on this one, and it's lights out for that guy. He hears someone breaking his roof and is super fast to block it. I have to say, rotations in these endgame circles with so much going on, it's mind-boggling. I don't know how pro players do it. Benji almost claims the kill and is third party. He pulls back, but oh man, he's run himself dry on mats and is forced to take the gunfight. Luckily, the enemy isn't as great a shooter as Benji, or otherwise things would not have gone well. I really like how Benji makes sure to pressure the guy so he can have time to go get those materials. A lot of Fortnite is about tricks and playing with people's heads, and when it comes to high-level games, it's a must. Benji, looking desperately for some recovery time, finally gets some time to heal up. But all else aside, let's jump over to the fun part. 
Benji is scouring the battlefield looking for his next victim. He uses Fortnite 101 and goes for a shot after firing his rocket launcher. I love the fact that Fortnite pros always go in for chip damage after shooting a rocket launcher. I'm no mathematician, but 10 damage is better than none. He finds an enemy trying to bail on the storm, and he's like, let me help you with that, and boop, he's no more. Benji Fishy knows this isn't going to be an easy rotation, but nevertheless, he maintains his cool. Benji once again finds himself some space to recover. Now, let's take a look at the positioning for a second. Benji is on low ground with a jump pad and a good amount of HP. All the enemies are above, but we have no idea how healthy they are. Benji should be happy that he isn't up there, and you'll see why in a second. Benji has forced himself into a difficult position. He can either use the jump pad to gain high ground or sit at the bottom. He knows that if he goes up for height, things can get a little messy. He's alone downstairs, why would he want to give up his piece? The enemies are forced into a dogfight above and one of them is killed. At this point, Benji is glad he didn't jump pad up there. Now, take note of Benji's crazy play here. An enemy bursts into his box and catches him off guard. He placed his traps down so fast, I had to watch again to make sense of how he did it. We see here how being aggressive sometimes is not the way to go. That enemy got easily outplayed by Benji, so next time you jump into someone's box, be prepared for anything. Benji puts all the basics that some of us overlook into action as he plays the circle really well and forces the enemies to react. His RPG comes in handy in situations like these because it's almost impossible to retain high ground against an RPG. He's forced into a dogfight and claims kill number 9. Benji is now squared off in a 1v1 versus an opponent with high ground. If this were me, I would be shaking in my boots right now guys, but for Benji, this is child's play. Beautiful shot right here, you can tell he wasn't really expecting it. Benji plays the storm really well and pretends he's pickaxing the tree to bait the enemy down, and there you have it, he takes the cake. Remember what I told you guys about playing with the opponent's minds? The takeaway from this clip are, number one, you witnessed high level turtle war. Fighting inside your box is an art form. I pointed out plenty of tricks for you to practice in your late games. Number two, be ready for anything. Many times throughout this clip, Benji was forced to react instantly and did so with zero hesitations. Number three, use any downtime to formulate a solid plan. You need to always make plays based on what you have, not based on what you wish you had. Third clip, let's see how Benji deals with the following tricky situation. Benji's being chased by an aggressive opponent. It's one thing being the aggressive one pushing, and it's another one being the one chased. He takes a 50-50 bloom battle and is punished. He maintains his cool and goes for a tunnel play. He extends his box outward and hides while he heals up. Hold up, check out this high octane power play right here. Benji gets his wall stolen and instantly turns his pyramid into a ramp. I tell you guys time and time again, always have either a ramp or pyramid inside your boxes. It's your last line of defense when your wall is taken. Right here, you can see the more aggressive player takes the cake and Benji is forced to disengage. Seriously, is this guy serious? This guy won't give Benji a break. Not even enough time to pop a mini. This enemy is bloodthirsty and Benji knows that. This is where Benji turns the tables though. He makes a quick edit play that the enemy isn't expecting and smacks him for 80 damage. They both go for a heal off and Benji waits until he pulls out his pickaxe and Howard learned not to try and steal Benji Fishy's wall. Out of all the plays in this clip, the takeaway is simple. Be patient. You need to make the right play, not an impulsive play. Take your time if you have to. The bottom line is this. You have to be alive to win the game. So that's it for the video, guys. We do have a full master's course by Benji Fishy himself, so check out ProGuides.com for all the latest tips and tricks all these guys are using. And as always, thanks for watching.